Hey y'all from Freedom Stick, this is Daphne Quarter. I'm the founder of Freedom Stick, Freedom Stick Web, and I am her voice. And as you see, I am in the midst of my playground, my home. I love nature. The birds are chirping, the dogs are barking, and it's green, it's nice, sunny, and pretty. And it's just calm to my soul. Just peace, being in the midst of nature. Um, I'm so glad to have these few minutes to share with you. What brings me hope is... The fact that I know that I can speak into the lives of women and girls, I can speak peace, I can speak calm, I can speak hope, prosperity, I can speak purpose into them. I'm able to pull them from a dark, lonely place in their life and to offer them a second chance to be a freedom stick. And uh, what motivates me is the women and the girls that I serve. Watching them and seeing the place that they're in in their lives and knowing that They've chosen me to walk down a place that they didn't think they could walk down, but it was in them all along to be. And knowing that I get to share in their journey of freedom, and um, whether it's emotional freedom, whether it's healing that they needed, whether it's mental freedom, whatever it is, I was chosen to walk down that road with them. And so that motivates me to keep going and doing what I do, just if it's this one girl that I'm able to rescue from sex trafficking, or whether it's one woman that I'm able to speak into her life and say, you got this girl, you're an awesome freedom stick. It motivates me to keep going. And I was able to get to this place in my life because I walked down a very dark and lonely path, um, being molested, being raped. Um, I grew up in a single parent home, and I felt like I never had a voice. And not only did I not feel like I didn't have a voice, but I didn't have one, anyone to be that voice for me. And I vowed as a young girl that I would be the voice for other girls that felt that they didn't have a voice. Um, those things motivated me to do what I'm doing now and serving girls. I've been a advocate for sex trafficking for 17 and a half, going on 18 years now, and um, in addition to that, being able to coach women to freedom, and to tell them that you can be naked and not ashamed, the bondage of your past is breathtaking and freeing today, you know, you don't have to walk down dark, lonely roads and streets alone, that there's someone here that wants to take you on a journey in this big playground called life, and that the games we played as children, the pretend games, playing house, playing dress up and make up, you don't have to do that anymore. You can be free to be who you are, who God has called and purposed you to be, without living in the playground of a pretend world. So I nudge you and I encourage you to continue to walk in your freedom, continue to push past those dark moments in your life and know that something that is within you has been called to purpose and called to heal another sister. I love you and thank you for allowing me this moment to share with you what speaks to me and speaks to my soul and speaks hope to me. Amen.